Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be just sharing with you some newer products. These are some products that I've been wanting for a really long time and they took forever to get to me in the mail because they are <coughs> they are um, two French brands and um, I just wanna share like how beautiful these formulas are and just how versatile and just lovely and oh, 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 I'm so excited. So like, let's just get into it. Also the sun is still trying to figure out what it's doing. It's making its way so it's gonna be a little wonky but it's fine it's fine it's pretty it's avant-garde so my skin is already prepped I have my sunscreen on I'm moisturized I have my brows on and I also have a little bit of um, the Oric Glow Lust in the shade Selenite um, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Givenchy Prism Libre color corrector the green color corrector just to even out my skin tone just a little bit just kind of tap that into the more red areas of my face. I'm still on the underpainting train, so I'm taking not a new product in my collection, but one I am trying to pan. And this is the Say Sun Melt in the shade Medium. And I'm just gonna lightly bronze the contours of my face here. So first new to me product is the Westman Atelier Vital Va Vital Stick Foundation Vital 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 Skin Foundation Stick, and I got this in the shade 0. 0.5. Now this is pretty light, but it was their only like light neutral shade. Um, the rest of them were like either like a rosy or a golden or a yellow undertone. And I remember I tried this product as a sample that was sent to me about a year ago and I was pretty like in the height of my tanness. And so I used the shade two or maybe it was the shade three, I'm not really sure, but it was a perfect match for me then. So I decided to go for a shade um, that I am most of the year, which is a very like light neutral shade. Um, but what's so nice about this, I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand, is that it's pretty desaturated. So like, it's not like that type of neutral where it's gonna pull any sort of like peach and it's not gonna like make you look washed out. It just has this kind of like perfect, almost grayish olive undertone that's perfect for people who have a skin tone like me. Um, where you do get significantly more tan in the summer, but you just have this undertone that's a little hard to match if something's too yellow or too rosy. So I'm, I've been using this and it has been absolutely stunning. How I've been going in with this is just taking my brush, feel like a foundation brush, and just kind of patting it, starting at like kind of under the under eye and kind of just coming out. And you can really pack on the coverage with this, but it is, I find this to be like a more emollient version of my favorite concealer, which is the NARS Soft Matte. And so I figured I would go with a shade that like would match me more of the year versus like having something that matched me more like in like a month. Um, because then I can just use my darker shade our Soft Matte versus just having a darker shade of this, but it is really tempting to pick up a darker shade um, but as you can see, like, it just kind of, like, evens and brightens, kind of just perfects. Like, it's really, really pretty, and it spreads just so easily. You don't need a lot of this, because I feel like this is designed to, like, perfect the skin in a way that looks natural, and you're just pinpointing like little imperfections that you wanna cover versus like a full face, full coverage, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like the perfect thing to work with like the underpainting technique. Speaking of the NARS Soft Matte, I am going to go in a little bit and just kind of spot conceal some areas just to give me like a little bit more coverage and a little bit of areas that I do need. Like right in here. And I do have like a little spot like on my chin here that I woke up with. I'm just going to pack that in. 
But yeah, these two together, I don't want to say they're essentially the same product, but they're very similar. The, the NARS is just a little bit more matte, where the Westman Atelier has like this emollients to it, but not like a dewy emollients. It's just a little bit more spreadable. Back in with my bronzer brush and just kind of blend all that together. A little bit more on my eyes here and my nose. So the first new product is from the brand Violette FR. Now Violette is a makeup artist. She started her own brand a couple of years ago. I would say like during the pandemic, I'm not sure. She's the, the director of Guerlain, I believe. Um, she's done a lot of stuff with Estee Lauder. And now she has her own brand, which is just her name, Violette underscore FR. Um, and it, the packaging is just so lovely. Look at this packaging, like this little like, beautiful art here and it is one of those things where it's a blush brush and I've never used this side because it's just so like pristine and white and soft. I'm usually not a fan of like brushes that come with things but look at this color. This is the shade Louise. It's like this beautiful marbled Oh, it's so, so pretty. She was inspired by Renaissance paintings, which use a lot of Sufmato. So Sufmato is to like blur the edge and to make things have this kind of hazy appearance. And that was the goal with these matte blushes. And so she came out with, I think, three or four shades. And I got the shade Louise, which is this beautiful neutral. I'm just gonna put it right onto my cheeks here because it does blend out beautifully. And it's that beautiful like, neutral kind of beigey pinky kind of like terracotta leaning s and then blending these out is just kind of like a dream like they're so beautiful this has like kind of a floral citrus scent to them it's very lovely it's very elegant and it's you know it's a french brand so of course there's gonna be fragrance that's just kind of the name of the game um but it's just so effortless like look at that like wow <laughs> it's just so beautiful and i really didn't expect anything less from her i've been wanting to try this for so long and i finally bit the bullet and that's just like such a perfect like easy one and done just wow it's like my and it's like my favorite color blush too so so I went ahead and put on my Sephora gel lip liner in the shade 02 Nothing But Nude because I think it goes perfectly with this next Violette product, which is the Bisu Bomb Sheer Matte Lipstick. Um, I got this in the shade Calisson. Calisson? Calisson? I don't know. Um, these have a beautiful, like if you've ever smelled either like the Kat Von D um, Studded Kiss Lipsticks or a MAC Lipstick, it has that very beautiful um like vanilla cupcake scent this packaging is just so cute it, it's the same thing as the blush it has like that little face and the gold top here and i thought that this was gonna be like just like every other like matte sheer lipstick but this is virtually weightless like it's so wow like i can't even feel it Like it doesn't feel like I even have anything on my lips. It's kind of incredible. And I know that she did reformulate these um, from her original launch because she listened to feedback and people were like, hey, these are too dry. And now they're like perfected. I like, look at this color combination with the cheeks and the lips. Like this is a finished like no makeup makeup look like right here. Like this is so lovely. I'm so impressed with this and I definitely want to try more from her brand. Um, she does have some like, eyeshadow like liquid eyeshadows and stuff um she does have a serum spray um uh, which is now sold in french pharmacies because people love it so much um but yeah so i this was definitely worth the long anticipated wait like i love these products and they're definitely going to be in the everyday like makeup rotation coming up this summer because they're so effortless they're so easy they blend out the formulas are elegant and the packaging is so cute i love it it's so chic so from viola fr this is the blush in the shade louise 
And virtually the same color is the Bisu Balm Sheer Matte Lipstick in the shade Calisson. So gorgeous, so, so gorgeous. So the next fancy makeup brand is from the brand La Fille in Rouge. And this is the makeup section of the French designer brand Rouge, which is just gorgeous, gorgeous clothing company. They do, they obviously do a little bit of makeup, but they have like the most beautiful dresses and blouses and just like, style. I think um, the creator or like the owner slash designer's name is Jeanne Dumas and she is just so gorgeous. Her makeup always looks so gorgeous and so this palette is a cheek and lip palette and this is in the color story signature. It's this beautiful like golded kind of fluted antique vintage looking thing and this is inspired by um, like vintage French makeup and like I think something along the lines, Jeanne Dumas said something along the lines of like, um, like something her grandma might have had. And that's really what inspired this. So this is a very like, not so much my type of color story, but the formula is absolutely incredible. It's absolutely stunning. It's almost like a powdered cream. Um, and it's matte too. But it's one of those matte formulas that effortlessly blend in with any type of base you may have and it's just so so lovely they blend out like a dream they go on the lips like a dream so this is for like eyes cheeks and lips um and so you get like kind of like um kind of like a neutrally brown and then two different colors of like, like a mauve and a berry and then you get this really gorgeous red and then you can like mix and match and make your own custom colors so that's what i'm going to do today so what i've been doing lately is taking these corner two here it's kind of like the berry and the beige. And so I'm gonna start with the berry and kind of just place this kind of up here. I've been really into like berry shades lately, which I never thought that I would be. But you know, you always surprise yourself. And so I'm just gonna like tap that and then I'm gonna get the other shade, the more like brown shade. And like a little bit of the mauve, mauve purple. And then I'm just going to blend that on top of the violet blush for a little more of like a summery pop, you know? Look how effortless. Like, easy. So easy! Man, okay. That's so nice. I just, I, and I, it's one of those things that I just want to keep applying because it just makes my skin look so like supple and pretty, and it's just. Mm -mm -mm. I, I, I love makeup that makes me feel happy, and th these makeup products make me feel really happy. Like, I just, when I'm using it, I'm like, I am a very fancy French lady. So here is the signature palette by Luffy and Rouge swatched on my hand. So this is the red. So you can see there's a lot of like blue in that red. So it's not going to be like that fire engine or like orange red. It'll be like a very natural looking red. Well, not a natural looking red, but a very approachable red. So you can sheer it out to make it look like just like a flush, like kiss of color. And then here is the more like brownie neutral kind of shade that's next to it and then the uh, berry and then the more like purpley mauve color and these are it's just so so pretty it's some remnants on my hand here like how gorgeous so I went ahead and just did some eye makeup off camera I used the Rowan Disco Eye and the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara because she's almost dead. But I do want to just show you how beautiful this red is in this palette. So I just want to give myself a little red looking lip here. So I'm just going to take that in the middle here. And it just feel it doesn't feel like a powder, but it's just so weightless. Like, as you can see, it's a cream, but when you touch it, it's just like the lightest kiss. And that's what I can say about the Viola FR makeup as well is that it's just like formulated in this way that's so like light 
and the pigment is there, but you can really control the saturation. And just kind of spread it around like this light, like you've been kissed. And it just feels like nothing. Mm. It's so pretty. Take a little bit right here to just kind of put a little bit more of this color. Just like on the apple. Ugh. I could play with this palette all day. It's so pretty. Like, look at that. Ugh, it's so good. Okay, so that is it. That is the look with the new makeup that I have purchased in the past few weeks. So, big win from Violette FR. These are so lovely. I love them so much. Another win with the Le Fille and Rouge signature palette. It's just such a lovely, lovely makeup product. Like, I highly, highly recommend. Like, it's a really fun product to have. Um, and what else is new? Oh, and the uh, Westman Atelier foundation stick is really stunning. It's really, really stunning. And it's right up my alley for like what I want when it comes to formulation and coverage and, you know, just, it's just gorgeous. It's a gorgeous piece of makeup. So yeah, I'm really happy with how my makeup looks today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.